Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to hide all the list of signed-in users in Windows 10. Let me show you it real quick so you know what we're talking about. Let's sign out. And we're going to sign back in. Now, as you know, at the bottom corner over here, you should have a list of all users. There they are. And you can sign into anyone you want. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to hide that, meaning you're going to have to have your username and your password to get in. So hopefully it goes without saying that you're going to need to know your username and password. So there's two ways we can do this. Hold on one second here. Let me hit pause. There we go. I want to get the tutorial back up so I can follow along, and you can as well. Two ways you can do it. Local security policy or the registry editor, and we have registry files. If you have Windows 10 Home, you're going to need to enable it. Just follow that link. It's really easy to do. That actually enables local security policy and group policy editor in Windows 10 Home. So let's do this. First and foremost, let's press the Windows key plus R and type in S-E-C-P-O-L dot M-S-C. Go ahead and press enter. Expand your local policies right here. Go to your security options. And we're going to scroll. You can see it's alphabetical. We want to find interactive login. Don't display last signed in. Right there. You can see it's disabled. So we just double click it. And if you enable it, that will accomplish what we want to do. And that's hide signed in users. And you can easily come back and swap it back and forth. However, I find the registry file is a little bit easier. So you'll come down here, download it right there. I'll put the link in the video for you right here and click download now and you'll get the registry files. You'll want to extract them to a folder. And once you've done that, there's two files in there, hide, show. So let's double click hide to get rid of it. That's it. Now let's try and sign out. All right, let's come back. There you go. There is no list anymore. So now you need to have at least your username. Now in my case, that didn't work. Thank you. I don't have any passwords in any of these accounts. So that simplifies it. But even if you don't have passwords, somebody would have to guess your username to get in. So it's a neat little security feature. There you go. And again, as I mentioned, there's nothing there when you log out piece of cake so it's a nice little security feature internet cafes maybe offices stuff like that where you want to kind of lock people out of another account and let's say the administrator account which allows that account to manage everything and you can also do a lot with an account where you can limit what they can do as well but we can cover more on that later so there you have it there's two ways to do it local security policy or registry files so once again feel free to download the reg files i think that's a cool way to do it there you have it bottom right corner you can click on subscribe and uh, yeah, see ya.